Lucas Media. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. So, WBC interim champion, I guess, <laughs> uh, Shakur Stevenson, uh, recently did an interview. Now, a lot of people have been getting on Shakur about his last fight. And they, some people said it's the most boring fight ever. It's a snooze fest. And he just, he didn't make any chances. And he even came out and said that uh, um, uh, Los Santos was, was scared too, which he shouldn't have said that. So people have been getting on him about that. But Shakur, basically, he just been having a, a bad, as we say, a bad week. One of those weeks. And he recently came out and said that uh, he got to stop being in the gym all the time. That's how you cause injuries. So in the interview, he goes to he goes to say, I had a bad performance, Stephen admitted, on the post-fight telecast. I got to take some breaks. I got to stop being in the gym all the time. That's how you cause injuries. That's how your body gets a little fatigued. And I want to unpack this. So, Shakur, honestly, if you just pulled out of the fight, more people people would have been able to understand that and respect that, right? You claim you hurt, you was hurt, and you want people to make to feel sorry for you, and that's just not how it works, man. When you when people pay their hard earned money, they don't care about your injuries. They don't care about what what, you, what you've been through, and. You could have literally said, "Yo, I, I I ain't gonna be able to make this fight. I got hurt, and yeah, people people will talk about it, but everybody moves on." I mean, look at uh, Earl Spence, right? Earl Spence had a detached retina when he was supposed to fight Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. People understood that. There's been times where Mike Tyson didn't had to pull out of the fights. Fighters all the time pull out and. We get it. This is a brutal sport. You push yourself through it, but the problem where where everybody has a problem with you, Shakur, is you've been chasing Devin Haney for at least a good year. You jump in the ring when he beats Lomachenko and says, oh, Lomachenko beat him. That was a robbery, this, that, and the third, and you the best fighter, and you'll stop anybody, and don't nobody want any issues with you. When you say stuff like that, and then you put on a snooze fest, that's where your bad performance comes in. Even if you was hurt and you was you you was landing them, people would have still been like, "Oh, okay, you know." But it's too little, too late. Nobody wants to hear your excuses. You could have pulled out the fight, and yes, we'd have been disappointed about the fight. But people understand if you got hurt or if you hurt your hand. Stuff happens all the time. And honestly, every last fighter that when they lose, everybody has an excuse. Everybody. You remember when Floyd and, and Manny fought and Manny said that he didn't land that many punches because his he hurt his shoulder, but he magically healed it with salt water. But was your shoulder hurt when he was when his hands was being raised before the fight and all of that? That's what Shakur, nobody trying to hear that, man. Just get back in the lab. If your hand is hurt, get your hand fixed. Get back in the lab. Stop chasing Devin Haney and Tang Davis, and you putting on snooze fest. Mm -hmm. Your your fight alone just set him back three fights because you had people tuning in. Like okay, it's, it was a lot of people that didn't like Devin Haney and was rooting for Shakur, but it's hard for those people to come back and argue argue a performance like that. So I just want to share my, my quick thoughts about it. Uh, the article was on Boxing Scene. Tell me what y'all think.